Hello everyone, welcome to Adupedia World. In today's lecture, we will discuss about baking powder, bleaching powder and plaster of Paris. First, we will discuss about baking soda. The chemical name of baking soda is sodium hydrogen carbonate. The formula of baking soda is NaHCO3. It is also called sodium bicarbonate. Baking soda is sometimes added for faster cooking of food. Now production of baking soda or sodium hydrogen carbonate. Sodium hydrogen carbonate is produced on a large scale by reacting with a coal and concentrated solution of sodium chloride and that is called brine with ammonia and carbon dioxide and the chemical reaction which is involved in this is like this NaCl NaCl that is sodium chloride sodium chloride it reacts with ammonia that is NH3 along with water that is H2O and carbon dioxide that is CO2. It will produce NaHCO3 and NH4Cl. This is baking soda or sodium hydrogen carbonate and this is ammonium chloride ammonium chloride so this is the chemical reaction by which sodium hydrogen carbonate is produced now Properties of baking soda Sodium hydrogen carbonate consists of white crystals which are sparingly soluble in water. It is a mild non-corrosive phase. The solution of sodium hydrogen carbonate in water is mildly alkaline. Now the action of heat. When sodium hydrogen carbonate or its solution is heated then it decomposes to give sodium carbonate with the evolution of carbon dioxide gas. We can see this in a chemical reaction also when sodium hydrogen carbonate that is twice NaHCO3 is heated when heat is applied to it Na2CO3 that is sodium carbonate along with CO2 and water is produced. This reaction takes place when sodium hydrogen carbonate is heated during the cooking of food. So since sodium hydrogen carbonate gives carbon dioxide gas on heating, it is used as a constituent of baking powder. Now. Uses of baking soda Sodium hydrogen carbonate is used as an antacid in medicine to remove acidity of the stomach. Being alkaline, it neutralizes the excess acid present in the stomach and relieves indigestion. The second use is, it is used in making baking powder or we can say that it is used in making cakes, bread etc. Baking powder is a mixture of baking soda and a mild edible acid such as tartaric acid. When baking powder mixes with water, then sodium hydrogen carbonate reacts with tartaric acid to evolve carbon dioxide gas. We can see the chemical reaction when sodium hydrogen carbonate that is N 
AHCO3 hydrogen ions these are the hydrogen ions from tartaric acid it will produce Na positive sodium ions along with CO2 and water the carbon dioxide gas which is produced gets trapped in the wet dough and bubbles out slowly making the cake or bread to rise and become soft and spongy if we don't use baking powder in the preparation of cake or bread then the cake or bread obtained will be hard and quite small in size so that's the reason why we add baking soda in making cakes and bread another use is it is used in fire extinguishers soda acid type fire extinguisher contain a solution of sodium hydrogen carbonate and sulfuric acid in separate containers inside them and when the knob of the fire extinguisher is pressed then sulfuric acid mixes with sodium hydrogen carbonate solution to produce a lot of carbon dioxide gas so this is the these are the uses of baking soda now we will discuss plaster of paris plaster of paris is calcium sulfate hemihydrate or calcium sulfate half hydrate the formula of plaster of Paris is CaSO4 dot half H2O. The name of plaster of Paris comes from the fact that it was first of all made by heating gypsum, which was mainly found in Paris. So this is named as plaster of Paris. Now preparation of plaster of Paris. Plaster of Paris is prepared from gypsum. And the chemical formula of gypsum is CaSO4 dot twice H2O or chemical name of gypsum is calcium sulfate dihydrate. Gypsum is calcium sulfate containing two molecules of water of crystallization. So plaster of Paris is prepared by heating gypsum to a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius in a kiln and when gypsum is heated it loses three-fourths of its water of crystallization and forms plaster of Paris so the chemical reaction in the preparation of plaster of Paris is like this CaSO4 dot twice H2O this is gypsum when it is heated at 100 degrees Celsius in a kiln in a kiln so plaster of Paris is produced CaSO4 dot 1 by 2 H2 along with one and half molecule of water This is plaster of Paris or we can say this is calcium sulfate half hydrate. In the preparation of plaster of Paris, heating of gypsum should be controlled carefully. The temperature during the heating of gypsum should not be allowed to go above 100 degrees Celsius. This is because if gypsum is heated above 100 degrees Celsius then all its water of crystallization is eliminated and anhydrous calcium sulfate called dead burn plaster is formed and it does not set like plaster of Paris on adding water. Now we will discuss properties of plaster of Paris. Plaster of Paris is a white powder. 
the second property is plaster of paris has a very remarkable property of setting into a hard mass on wetting with water so when water is added to plaster of paris it sets into a hard mass in about half an hour the setting of plaster of paris is due to the hydration to form crystals of gypsum which set to form hard solid mass we can see in chemical reaction how plaster of paris is sets as hard mass caso4 dot 1 by 2 h2o this is plaster of paris or we can say this is pop when water is added one and half molecule of water is added it will form caso4 dot twice h2o or we can say this is gypsum this is gypsum and plaster of paris should be stored in a moisture proof container because of the presence of moisture can cause slow setting of plaster of paris by bringing about its hydration now uses of plaster of paris it is used in hospitals for setting fractured bones in the right position to ensure correct healing it keeps the fractured bone straight this use is based on the fact that when plaster of paris is mixed with proper quantity of water and applied around the fractured limbs it sets into a hard mass in this way it keeps the bone joints in a fixed position second use is it is used in making toys decorative materials cheap ornaments cosmetics and chalk the third use is it is used as a fire proofing material another use is it is used in chemical laboratories for sealing air gaps in apparatus another use is it is used in making surfaces like the walls of a house smooth before painting them and for making ornamental designs on the ceiling of houses and other buildings now we will discuss about bleaching powder chemical name of bleaching powder is calcium oxychloride and its chemical formula is caocl2 now production of bleaching powder it is prepared by passing chlorine gas over dry slate lime the chemical reaction is calcium hydroxide caoh whole twice when it reacts with chlorine this is calcium hydroxide or slate lime when it reacts with chlorine it will produce caocl2 along with water this is calcium oxychloride or bleaching powder now properties of bleaching powder it is a white powder which gives strong smell of chlorine it is soluble in cold water the small insoluble portion always left behind is the lime present in it it reacts with dilute acids to produce chlorine when bleaching powder is treated with an excess of dilute acid all the chlorine present in it is liberated let's take an example when bleaching powder is treated with dilute sulfuric acid what happens caocl2 this is bleaching powder when it reacts with dilute sulfuric acid this is calcium oxychloride or we can say this is bleaching powder when it reacts with dilute sulfuric acid calcium sulfate along with chlorine and water this is calcium sulfate 
the chlorine produced by the action of dilute acid on bleaching powder acts as a bleaching agent the real bleaching agent present in the bleaching powder is chlorine the bleaching action of chlorine is due to its oxidizing property uses of bleaching powder bleaching powder is used for bleaching cotton and linen in textile industry and for bleaching wood pulp in paper industry it is also used for bleaching wash clothes in laundry and the bleaching action of bleaching powder is due to the chlorine released by it the second use is it is used for disinfecting drinking water supply that is for making drinking water free from germs the third use is it is used for the manufacture of chloroform another use is it is used for making wool unshrinkable the last use is bleaching powder is used as an oxidizing agent in many chemical industries thanks for watching adupedia world videos